Good morning, folks. Tier 1 articles today on Gamma Burst, the Betelgeuse Micronova, and the Galactic Current Sheet impact on the solar system. We're starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was mostly quiet. Solid coronal hole incoming near the equator. A C-class flare tried to erupt at the southern active region, but produced only a coronal surge. We do have more active regions incoming, and plasma filaments as a massive one is incoming right now on the north. We'll have eyes on this one for eruptive activity, but for now, let's go to gamma bursts. Folks, when they say exactly what caused an explosive event without being able to see any of it, it's tough to fully get behind their explanation like a neutron star merger here, but they definitely spotted a gamma burst in action. This one, so far away, the host galaxy isn't even visible in most wavelengths. Up next is Betelgeuse, and a surface mass ejection is now what they're calling it. These different names they come up with for Nova-like events are both humorous and frustrating. Alas, not a terrible name for the tiny Nova-like dust production and puff. A surface mass ejection, indeed. In our second video last night, which hopefully everyone watched, we included a quick listing of the solar system shift, and today we're going to add another one on to the recently reported ENA increase in interplanetary space. These are the interstellar pickup ions, and New Horizons data showed six shock fronts, each with gradually increasing plasma pressure. It's pretty much in line with the extra ENAs, the extra dust, and all the other aspects expected as the galactic current sheet engulfs the solar system deeper and deeper within the sheet. Learn more about all of that at the playlist below the video and with the books. Links are below the video as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.